Hi, I'm Haley. And I'm Melissa. And, and this, this is, is Just the, the Bubbly. So today, what we're going to talk about with you guys, this is our first episode. And something that Alyssa and I are very passionate about, messages that guys send to girls that girls don't pick up. And we're guilty of it too, but as we've grown, we've realized that, oh yeah, he was trying to send me this message and we ran away with this other message. So we're going to give you girls some tips out there. And the guys who are watching, feel free to like give us some input, let us know what we missed, what we didn't cover. Definitely let us know what we're talking about because we think maybe it's a pretty good idea, but in the end, you know best. So the first thing that we want to talk about with you girls is when he doesn't reply to your text messages, he doesn't want to talk to you. It's not that he's busy. It's not that he's doing something else. It's that he genuinely doesn't want to talk to you. If he was busy, he would reply and say, I'm busy. I'll text you later. And even with that, if he doesn't text you later, he doesn't want to talk. It's really that simple. You need to quit trying to overthink everything because guys are really yeah. simple. That's where I think, I don't know if it looks agrees, but that's where guys and girls go wrong is that the girls try to girls overthink, overthink everything. Girls overthink everything. Yeah. Same thought. I know. <laughs> girls overthink everything. And, and guys, that's where we get screwed over. It's true. Much. And guys <laughs> underthink everything. Yeah. Like they don't really think. They don't have the emotional aspect. Yeah. Though, so like what we do. In a relationship, the guy and a girl really need to try to understand each other to the best of their ability. And that's where people go wrong. Our next thing is, is kind of relating back to our last point. If guys want to talk to you, they will find a way. They're not going to mm -hmm. quit. Guys don't quit easily when they really want someone. So if he is, doesn't text you, if he doesn't call, if he doesn't talk to you or try, then he doesn't want to talk to you. He doesn't want to talk to you. If he really wants to talk to you, again, he will find a way to talk to you. Like. He will so find a way. He will do whatever he can to talk to you. Like. Yeah. Guys become crazy. He will talk to you. You know he really likes you when he texts you, like when he's busy. Like yeah. You know he really cares about you. He wants to talk to you. Yeah. Or I doesn't mean, want to go to sleep at night because he wants to talk to you. God, then this he is wants so to true. talk to you. He will. And yeah. a really good example of this was when a guy really really liked me when he was at work one time and he had like no service. He was like, hey, I'm really sorry, I'm gonna be at work in the morning and I'm gonna have no service where I am, but I'll text you when I get home. He found service out where he was. And he texts me, he's like, I'm not going to be able to talk to you for very much longer, but I just wanted to text you to say good morning. Like, that's how you know a guy wants to talk to you is when he really tries and takes yeah. time out of his day to do so. Um, yeah. the I'm next thing... Worry. Yeah, do you want to say <laughs> I don't even know where we're at. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. If he really says he doesn't want to be with you, then you know what? He's really going to break up with you. Like, he, if he's going to beat around the bush and be like, you know what, I don't even know what to say anymore, but I'm sorry... He's breaking up with you. Which has happened to Alyssa. This has happened Alyssa to me. Alyssa now. Just recently. And he never really said, okay, I think we should break up. No. No. He was trying to break up with me, but being nice about it. And it's like... And he was one of my best friends. So when she's yeah. calling me, like, Haley, what is he trying to say? I'm like, sorry, girl, but he's trying to break up with you. And, and I did not know this. I was yeah. like, I don't know what's going on here. Because Sometimes that's all you need is a third person perspective to understand what's really happening because guys yeah. like we said before they oversimplify everything he thought that I can't do this anymore I'm sorry was enough it's not enough for us it's enough for them so you kind of have to find the lines it's kind of hard to interpret but eventually you can figure it out um yeah definitely ask call your girlfriends up like, yeah like, they really help you maybe even call your guy friends that's even more helpful that's true yeah and then they're going to be like you know what okay, I'm bring you out. I know Oh well. <laughs> also, if your guy does end up saying that, leave it. Say, all right, so you, you leave him. He's him. Yeah. Change your Facebook relationship status. Change him. Be the first one to get it all. It'll be yeah. so much worse for him, and it'll make then you feel ten times get better. A slap in the face. If you leave before you're left officially, and yeah, you don't much. want to keep texting him like, "Can we work this out? No. Can we call each don't other?" Don't even talk to him. Just don't do leave that. Leave it. Because he doesn't care. If he doesn't care enough to just leave, it's going to be, it's done. You know? Look like a badass and just walk out. <laughs> look like don't look like a stalker don't. and stalk don't. his Facebook. I'm not saying delete him because that is a little childish, but I am one that has in the past deleted my exes off Facebook because I don't want to see their statuses every day. I don't want them looking at my page. I just kind of want to get over it. And if you have to do that for you, that's fine. But if you really could care less, don't delete him. And it's going to make you look really childish. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah. So you meet this guy, right? And you guys are hitting off pretty good. 
if he tells you he loves you within the first two weeks, what do you do? Leave him. You run. Run you away. Get the hell out of there. Because he just wants to play you. I'm all yeah. for the whole let's make out one night and not talk ever again. That's fine. Yeah, totally. But if you actually have feelings for him, and if he's saying that stuff like that, and the feeling's not mutual, like you both aren't just looking for one night stand or whatever, then you need to get away because he's gonna yeah. hurt you. Because Claire's, this is a good tip. Players will say anything. They will say the L mm -hmm. word. They will say they want to marry just you. Just to get in your pants. Just to get in your pants. And then after that, no. you'll never talk again. Yeah. It hurts. And I feel like it's happened to both of us. But we are virgins because we're <laughs> smart. We are but I'm telling you, I've seen it happen to a lot of my girlfriends. And it hurts. It, it takes them forever to get over it. And we yeah. don't want to see you guys go through that too. Yes, yeah, but that's two weeks is our minimum. Okay, yeah. If a month, you know... After a month, I mean, there might is really thing. have feelings for you. Yeah, and he might confuse them with love. Maybe it's not really love. Maybe it's just serious infatuation, but... Yes, this is also... Being in love is and so loving different. somebody is different. So different. <laughs> I can say, I love you, Alyssa, right? I love you, Haley. If I said, <laughs> I'm in love with you... Oh. Whoa. You know? <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much. There is such a big difference. I think that... Saying I love you to one of my guys is one thing. I mean, I'm not suggesting you do it after two weeks. But if you've known someone for like a year, you're dating them or whatever, I love you is, is okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bash on you for that. Saying I'm in love with you is a one person thing. You can only be in love with one person. There's a quote by Johnny Depp that I'd like to share with you right now. Oh. If you love two people, choose the second one because that means you never really loved the first. That is so true, and I'm pretty so sure I true. told you that. Too. I'm pretty sure I read it in mine. I read it in mine? Yeah, whatever. Anyways, that is so true. Go with that. Yeah. Go with that. And if you're really in love with someone, then you'll know. You know? Our last thing that we want to share with you guys right now, because we have stuff to do today. <laughs> we, we're, we're busy. If a guy texts you, <laughs> but ignores you in person, like at school, if you run into him at some school, Bored, he doesn't say anything, be done, right then and there, because that means he doesn't even want a relationship with you, that means he doesn't want to go farther with you, he just wants to screw with your head over text, like getting you to text him, getting you yes. to send him pictures, just making him feel good for an ego boost, if he doesn't talk to you in person, get rid of him, fast, yeah. as fast as don't you can. Don't even, honestly, don't even, don't even talk to him. Like don't, be like, you know what? I'm done. You're Sorry, like, you I know found what? You can't guy. just blow me off and not talk to me. Exactly. You have to talk to me in person. And don't be not afraid. Just it's true. And when a guy is screwing you over and you know it, don't be afraid to call him out. And use, like, evidentiary yeah, support. Don't. Lock him in a corner. It's going to teach him that he can't ever treat you that way because you're better than that. It's okay to call a guy out. I personally don't think it's okay to just stop talking to a guy even after he screwed you over. Like, if you caught him doing something, you need to be able to get that anger out because that's one of my things that I dwell on is that I still have a lot to say. So it's okay to say what you need to say. Just don't be weak and don't give in to his lies because he's going to teach his time. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. We don't want to make this too long because we don't want to bore you guys. Yeah, but this is just what we're passionate about. In the details. Yeah, this is just what we want you guys to know because we've been through it. And we don't you we don't want you guys to get screwed over like we have. Yeah, and so. it's probably gonna happen because there are some very talented players out there. Yeah, but I'm just saying keep your guard up. You know, if a guy really really wants to get with you and he cares about you, he's gonna take time to break that guard down. Yeah, he will. He will put in the effort. He will. So, so you and, yeah. That's, that's pretty much all I want to say right now. You kind of just said what I was thinking. Yeah. So <laughs> we're excited for our uh, future episodes to be yeah. coming out, but this is our first one, and I think this went great, because this is something we're really passionate about, and we know a lot about. Yeah. So if you guys have any comments, questions, anything, just let us know, and uh, we'll see you soon. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. I'm Haley. And I'm Alyssa. And, and thanks for watching Just the Bubble. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye.